Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf, and today joined by Kate Smith. For those of you who don't know, we had Kate on the YouTube channel, I think last year. Uh, we did a YouTube live broadcast with Kate, and um, I think at Second Swing, we appreciate Kate being from Minnesota, getting fit at Second Swing for a long time. But Kate has now moved on, professional player now. So, and the fun thing now is too, is we're at the new Dallas store. And so you're playing professionally and also living down in Texas here. So uh, things have changed for you, but we're excited to see how it's progressed. And now we want to do what's in the bag, see what kind of clubs you're playing, see how you've just made those decisions. But before we get into the what's in the bag, Kate, uh, just kind of maybe give the viewers that didn't see the, the previous live broadcast we did a little bit about your background, your game, and kind of how you got to where you are now. Yeah, well, thanks for having me. Um, I grew up in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Uh, loved my time there, loved my time in Minnesota. That's kind of where I got into second mm -hmm. swing and you guys were my fitters all through um, high school. I went to University of Nebraska, um, played five years of golf there and it was awesome. Big 10 conference was super competitive. Oh, sure. And uh, so it prepared me to turn professional. I did all right at Q school my first year. So I got on the Epson tour, um, okay. so I was a, Rookie last year and did pretty well. Kept my card in the Epson Tour. Didn't graduate to the LPGA, but um, hoping this year that you know maybe I'll make enough money and move on to the Big Tour. Sure, and we should also mention competed at Augusta in the Augusta National Women's Am tournament, which is a, a pretty big deal. We have loved that that tournament has become such a big force uh, in kind of women's golf the last few years. So uh, you know you've accomplished a lot, and so. You know, we got to talk about the clubs. A lot of the viewers are going to be interested in what you're playing. And so um, I'm just looking right, right away. I see lots of tight list. Yeah. Uh, but let's, why don't we start at the top of the bag? We'll okay. talk about the driver. Perfect. The driver, we'll talk about the club head, talk about shaft, yeah. whatever you kind of feel like sharing with the driver here. Yeah, so I'm a big tight list girl. Um, got the TSR3. Mm -hmm. uh, came about a couple weeks ago. Okay. Um, went with a hazardous shaft, which I remember these in high school being yeah. really big. So they must be kind of coming back um stiff shaft pretty pretty standard um nine degree loft mm -hmm. i've had that for a couple of years okay. and yeah i love this stick and the three wood's pretty similar too so kind of rolling with the titleist woods yeah yeah so then i noticed we already were hitting some shots we went is it tsr2 tsi2 what we got for the three wood then uh I it TSR, was TS, tsr okay three yeah oh, tsr3 yep. and i love the how clean this bottom is yeah, and mm -hmm. i mean easy easy weight Mm -hmm. transfer and everything so yeah it's, it's, how much do you are you a tinkerer in that sense or not really i try not to but i think you know when we're on the road playing like three four weeks in a row it's kind of nice to have like mm -hmm. something you can change that isn't monumental but maybe gives you a little more confidence going yeah. into the week so sure and then i one thing i wanted to ask too is i so you have the same you have the tsr3 three wood tsr3 driver and the same shaft model in both was yeah. that something that you kind of you've always wanted that in the driver three wood you want them to match up um, I definitely wanted like the look from over top to be the same. I'm, I'm a pretty creative person, so I'm very visual. So, yeah. you know, when I want to look down on it, I want to have a lot of confidence in it. And so I think for me, the continuity through the woods is yeah. nice. I think gotcha. that's been kind of the last two or three years thing. Otherwise I've had usually kind of a mixed bag. Sure, so. sure. Well, you did mention to me now moving down from three wood, you mentioned you might have some tweaks some maybe some questions that will be answered in the future on the YouTube channel yeah. here as well. But between four iron hybrids, what else do we got there? Yeah, so I have a four hybrid. Um, it's a Titleist, maybe an older model. Um, it's a TS3, oh, 19 sure. degree. Mm -hmm. um, I love it, uh, and then I go straight to a four iron, but I just don't know, you know, like Max Homo with his seven wood, I believe. Yeah. You know, I think having something in the bag where you can kind of switch it out if the course is playing firmer or faster, yeah. uh, I think that's something that we should probably look into yeah. and what a good place to do it. Yeah, exactly. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that's a, kind of a tease for a future video. Kate's gonna maybe do some experimenting uh, with that part of the bag, but into the irons now. Uh, yeah, it looks like more Titleist. Uh, I see T100 or T100S there. Yep, so, T100S. Uh, what made you go with these ones? Yeah, so about uh, two and a half years ago, I had the T100S, um, the former model. Okay. Um, loved them. I just beat them up so bad. <laughs> Hit it in <laughs> yeah. a, a few too many cactuses in Arizona. So um, mm. just got the new ones and it's been great. Um, pretty standard shaft. Yeah. Uh, I just changed shafts from my old shafts because I typically hit a cut and it's a little bit spinnier. So I needed a shaft that kind of cut down on that spin gotcha. so that we're not losing yardage, um, sure, you know, sure. throughout the round. Try not, maybe a lesser spinning shaft than you had been playing. Yes, uh, Perfect, exactly. perfect. 
Uh, and I see one thing I noticed here too, which is kind of cool that you went with um, the 48 degree in the set versus kind of going with a 48 degree wedge maybe. Was there a reason for that decision? Or yeah. I mean, because I know there, that's kind of a question a lot of golfers have is do I play, you know, like gap wedge with my iron set or do I only, you know, like for example, a Vokey wedge, do I get the 48 degree Vokey wedge? Yeah, that 48 degree is about like a 105 shot for me. So I just wanted it to be, you know, super standard, like fall yeah. right in with that pitching wedge. Um, I love my Vokies as well, but I, I've kind of always had that gap be in an iron model and I kind of love it that way and it doesn't really affect me using it for chipping either. So okay. I think it's like, which one do you want to compromise on? Are you yeah. going to chip with it more? Or are you going to hit it you know, yeah. full swing more? So. And I think that's how a lot of golfers are at that loft. They're probably using it more often for the full swing. So it yeah. does make a lot of sense from that perspective to yeah. kind of flow with the set there. So yeah, uh, works for me. Down into the wedges now. Uh, so we I mentioned Vokey, right? Uh, yep. What lofts and kind of, it looks like SM9s there maybe? Yes, SM9s. Um, I was kind of always a 52 degree girl and then I've just recently switched to 54. It's just okay. like better gapping. So 54, 58 with that D grind. So um, mm. I believe it's kind of like a hybrid grind. I mean, a little bit. Yeah, there's some everything. versatility there. For yeah, sure. so yeah. I've mm -hmm. loved it. Um, pretty standard as far as. Um, Sometimes I've played around with having a little bit of a heavier shaft, yeah. but um, you can definitely see some of that relief off the grind there too. So it, you're, yeah. you're the, you, I imagine you kind of, especially with that one, maybe the 58 degree, you're kind of opening that face a little bit from time yeah. to time. Yeah, uh, definitely use the 58 degree a lot. Um, yeah. It's kind of one of my favorite shots. I challenge myself to hit lower chips all the time because yeah. you got to use all the bag. But yeah. um, well, I am also that player where I hit my 58 degree about anywhere inside you yeah. know, 80 yards or whatever. So hey, uh, we all do it. Yeah, yeah. So. Lastly, now we got to talk about what you're putting with. And I see a cool head cover there too, but uh, <laughs> yeah. putting on the green, what do we got? Uh, a bit of a Star Wars um, head cover for those that nice. know, know yes. the, the lore. Um, got a Betnardi, uh, Queen Bee. Um, I don't know if they call this like the honeycomb yeah, the grind. Honeycomb. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit cut down, it's a little bit shorter, kind of got lanky arms. So mm. I like a little bit shorter putter. Um, and I got like a weighted putter grip is yeah. kind of what I've been rolling with for the last few years. Like it just yeah. balances out the club a little bit better. Sure. So, and then one thing I wanted to ask about too is the grip on that. I know I think we did get a com comments about that, but kind of the larger grip is obviously the kind of the big thing. It's a mm -hmm. popular fad for putters. Um, is there a, a feel thing that led you to the kind of the thicker putter grip? Yeah. So I've been probably on and off of a thicker putter grip for about 10 years. Uh, I like the shape of this one. Yeah. I think that's what I usually look for. Um, kind of the seaming in the back. I think sure. a lot of us like it. It really like kind of gets our yeah. grip to like fall in nicely, um, kind of the back of our hand. So I think those are kind of the big things for me. And then having that kind of flat um, front facing part of the grip. Yeah. So yeah, this one's um, been lucky, good. Yeah. And I, I hope it has a good year because that means <laughs> yeah. I'll have a good year. So. Right, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Lastly, let's talk about golf ball. Uh, what have you? Played the same ball for a long time, and what ball are you playing right now? Um, I have played the same ball for about three or four years. I play Yellow Pro V1, um, oh, okay. so a little bit unorthodox. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I could change now, but um, yeah. Yeah. I love it. Everyone asks, is it, you know, does it spin the same? Is it the same? Yeah. I'm like, Titleist knows what they're doing. Just because <laughs> the color changes doesn't mean, you know, yeah. the performance is going to yeah. change. Yeah, I, so. I think they added the yellow to the Pro Vs, was it maybe one or two generations ago? So it hasn't been that long that they've had no. the yellow option, but. Uh, I've also used that ball and yeah. it's, uh, I, I'm with you. They, they know what they're doing, right? When yeah. They're, if they're going to add the different color, they're not going to change the performance on it. So No, it's, I love it. It's been good. Well, Kate, I think that wraps it up. Uh, that was really good stuff. And I know all of us at Second Swing are wishing you a really good, successful season. Um, it was great to have you in uh, at the store today here in Dallas. If you are in the Texas, well, if you're in Texas, I know it's a big state. Kate made a long drive today, but stop by us at uh, our Dallas store, which is actually in the colony. Uh, you know, what is it? 20,000 clubs are in here, 25,000 square feet. A uh, ton of it, uh, golf paradise here for you. Uh, Kate, thank you for joining today again. Uh, really good insight into what's in your bag. Yeah, good to be here. Thanks for having me.